Well, howdy folks, Out Greg's here, and welcome to Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 131. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Hornet. Uh, I think I discussed it back in, was it, episode 77? So if you want to look at the 30, 39, 30, 25 era version of this, go ahead and jump back there and watch that one. But today we're going to be discussing the 30, 50 era one. With all the good technology tossed onto this thing. Is it good, bad, or ugly? Well, let's just find out. The Hornet, 20 tons. It's a 583. Yes, you heard me, three. Uh, mech, so it's not really fast. When you think about a 20 ton mech, you think, oh, geez, it's going to be six, seven, eight speed because. Lighter mechs, well, you can throw some bigger engines on them and make them fly because they're scouts. You expect them to do that. But no, it's a 583. So it does at least have some type of jump jets to get around. Uh, it has 10 heat sinks on the engine. And then, well, not necessarily all on the engine. Problem is when you got a small mech like this, some of them are going to be tossed around the, the different body parts, you know, sections. It has 62 points of armor, which is three and a half tons, which is ferrofibrous. Yes, we have some new technology stuff put on ferrofibrous armor. So we have the slight benefit of a little bit more armor because you're taking up, you know, it's ferrofibrous is kind of like a, a woven type of armor that's got a lot of spaces in it, but it's lighter, but it takes up more space. That's kind of like why. When you put it on, it takes up 14 slots, all right? Which can be kind of a hindrance. Now, the other wonderful thing about it, it does have endosteel. And endosteel is kind of similar to ferrofibrous. It takes up more uh, space in the internal structure. It takes up another 14. So here we got 28 slots of the internal structure taken up with ferrofibrous and endosteel. So we're basically gaining roughly one and a half tons of uh, roughly one and a half tons of space for putting on new equipment, etc. Okay, which is kind of like one of the benefits of using industrial and ferro fibers. Now it does have the standard engine on this thing. The equipment. We have the standard LRM-5, which is also on the 151 Hornet, which is the 3025. It has two tons of ammo in the left torso. The LRM is in the right torso. We have any missile system in the head with a ton of ammo. It does carry case in the left torso where we got the ammo stored. And we have in the right arm, we have a wonderful little medium laser. And then we have the jump jet center, left and right torso. Now, right off the bat, like I've said before, the Hornet suffers from one big problem. It's slow. All right. A 5'8", 20 ton mech doesn't last very long if it gets focused on. You know, if you get a whole bunch of heavies and mediums decide to hit it, it just takes one or two good hits and one of these are basically wrecked. So it's one of those mechs where you got to keep it out at range and that's where the LM5 comes in. It's basically you're running around uh, spotting things uh, for your LRM boats that are parked behind someplace. And then you're using that LRM5 as just a harassment type thing, you know, this rolling for luck hey maybe i'll get a snake eye or a head hit one or two all right that's pretty much all it is you don't want to get this thing close because if it does get close with the speed it has a 5.8 it's not necessarily going to be in your favor because it doesn't take much to take off some body parts on one of these things so eh, it's kind of like yeah you got to keep it out of a distance now uh, one of the wonderful things about it that can help it stay alive a little bit longer is that anti-missile system. Uh, if somebody is shooting missiles at it, at least you have something you can be used to shoot them down with. All right, so you can't until the ammo bays go click click. You know, there's like okay, empty, 
Hey, well, you know, that's it was fun while it lasted. Now, one of the things when I've, I will look at this design, personally, I think I would rather, instead of having two tons of ammo for that LR5, yeah, that's 48 turns that you can sit there and just plink away, which if you're in a campaign, fine. Uh, campaign games work great because obviously you may take a long time before you see a uh, reload or anything of that nature. So, yeah, but, uh, I can kind of understand why you'd have a couple tons. But uh, that one ton, I think, could be used better purposes through either tossing it into the anti-missile system so at least you have uh just as number of shots with the uh anti-missile system versus the lrm you know kind of balance the things out a little bit because i feel that the anti-missile system might be more of a benefit to you to keep it running longer than it is to go more than 24 turns with the uh, LRM so yeah that's one thing I'd prefer to probably change is just oh, ammo base switch it go over to the anti missile system all right problem solved they're on they're on the same torso so you know doesn't hurt so just change the feed lines a little bit so all right that's it that's everything no no wait we got to talk about a few other things all right, there, the original variant, which is the 151 from the Federated Suns, lacks the advanced technology, but mounts two more jump jets, which is a 585, so it is a little more mobile in that aspect of it. And it has a small laser in place of the anti-missile system in case. All right, so if i had a 151 design and i wanted to change it over and it doesn't have the anti-missile system you just want to convert you know factory settings of the hornet you can do this one thing might be beneficial you could you know it's like i've talked about not liking xl engines but when a 20 ton mech like this and one of the things that keeps it alive longer is speed let's give it some speed all right so let's just flip over here we can make it a 696 oh that's a little bit better it's get a little bit more mobile it's getting into similar to like the stingers and wasp and stuff like that and you give it an xl engine you still have the endo steel and the ferro fibers you can do this one thing uh you're using up all your internal structure spots fine that's no big deal you keep the lrm5 with a ton of ammo which is very similar you have the medium laser and the right arm still the same but now after changing everything adding the new equipment you can upgrade the medium laser to or a small laser to a medium laser okay so that's one thing you can do so there you go uh, you, you still got the same configuration but now you're slightly faster and you're able to jump around a little bit more and the whole thing is you're just trying to harass with it now the other thing you can do instead of having an upgrading the small laser to a medium laser you can turn around and give it tag yes put a tag system in place of the small laser so now if you have any type of special artillery munitions lrm munitions and stuff like that now you can use the tag and now you're you turn the roll is a scout spot here to now you really are can um lock onto somebody and, and give them a world of hurt with the tag system so that just changes the whole role of this mech even better that's kind of like how i look at this one is you're taking it and you're not necessarily wanting to get into a fight but you want to at least get into range 15 so you can hit them with that tag system and do the combined arms okay that's kind of like how i look at that one and it's it works pretty good so you can take the 151 upgrade the two systems on it you know the with ferrofibers armor and end steel which the factory's already pumping out 
and then go that route. Now, the other thing is you could take the, the 151, give it ferrofibrous armor. It's going to give you half a ton. And then you can take the 151 and still upgrade that small laser to a tag. So you can still do the same thing. But you're still going to be a 585, but with tag, medium laser, and an LRM5. So it's still getting kind of the same similar uh, activities that can perform, but it doesn't have all the more advanced technology. Because obviously the industry has got to be a factory type thing that comes from the factory. Ferrofibrous armor is something you can do in the field. All right, your, tech, your techs can do that for you. And then you can start bolting on equipment instead of you know it's like all right you already got the energy lock up for the uh, setup for the small laser you're just changing it out and run the stuff to the, the cockpit so that obviously you, you're sending that information out so just a nice lightweight laser for painting somebody for locking on with other systems all right so there are some options for you. So if you have the 151, you can upgrade it in the field with a few modifications. Or you can take the, the 171 with all the advanced technology on it, do a slight change of upgrading the, the anti-missile system. Or you can take a 171. Let's, let's call it the 181. All right, let's go that route. Let's call it the 181. We have the 161, which is the 151 with tag and ferrofibrous. And then we'll call it the 181, which is the Hornet. Let's take the 171, get rid of the, the anti-missile system, upgrade it to XL engines. And then you have a medium laser, a tag, and an alarm five. So, all right, let's go that way. Let's just call it that way, all right? And then it's a 696. Now the 181 is a 696 XL engines, tag, medium laser, LRM5. There you go. Very simple. Hopefully you guys like this one. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's kind of a short, quick look at uh, something in the new year. Uh, it's basically one of those mechs where you can just go in, uh, get close enough, and light somebody up with help out your following on forces and then just do a little harassment with your lm5 it's not rocket science it's not a really glorious type looking uh, mech uh, it's basically just keep it out of the distance keep it moving as fast as you can and then just be a harasser that's all there is about it and stay away from those and a scout mechs you know that their whole job is to go out there and take care of guys like this one all right, there you go. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Help Rex out.